Sorry, chauffeur. <laughs> and Lisa, I asked, sorry we're late, but that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? It's Sunday night. You got no work tomorrow unless you're a part-time fucking slave. It's <laughs> Columbus Day. Everybody got the day off. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, even black people. Everybody got the fucking day off tomorrow. Does that mean I have the day off tomorrow? You have the day off tomorrow. What do you mean the day they bury the devil at sea? That's the day the devil <laughs> bury the devil at sea. What <laughs> is that? Is that Osama bin Laden or is that somebody else? Or are you no, just that's, talking? That's oh, just okay. us talking here. Oh. What's so yeah, if you guys brother? want to be on our level, like take acid and like pause this for half an hour. What's going on, Doug? Nothing. Eddie Brock was in the house, right. fresh from fucking jumping jacks and putting videos up and <laughs> bowling motherfuckers and shit, <laughs> going viral online. They don't know that you still got it. They think you're over here getting weak in the fucking bush or something like that. They don't know that you're over here getting stronger by the fucking day out of it. They're just learning the rubber guard. You've taken it up to t three fucking levels since then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Ari Shafir? How are you, man? What's up, buddy? I just finished all that stuff. I'm done with work for a while. I'm going to Australia. What's in Australia? How many weeks? Three weeks. And comedy? Yeah. How many shows? Seven. All right, that's not bad. Yeah. And the rest of yeah. the time, you're just going to look at kangaroos and Fun. walk around. Go, and I don't know. Go hang out. Do some shit. Absolutely. I don't know. Yeah, go look at some kangaroos. Challenge one. Learn my 10th planet white guard. What uh, how, how long is the flight? Frankie Barker's down there waiting for you. Where's Frankie Barker at? Melbourne. Melbourne. Are you in Melbourne at all? Yeah, that's the first place you, I go to. Ten gotta, Planet Melbourne. You got to stop by Frankie Barker's house. They'll feed you. They cook yeah. Italian food and all right. shit. No leg locks. We'll have, we'll get a hold of Frankie. <laughs> and one online. Now you're up to season four and shit. Yeah, two online. Two with the team. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. It went so good. It went so good. You were great. Felipe was great. Henry Rollins. Henry Rollins, great. Who else did you say Wednesday night? Brewer. Brewer. Uh, Ron White. <laughs> yeah. Metzger. Everybody. Metzger. Good little fucking lineup. Yeah, great Simone race. was on there. Simone, so Steve Simone it. broke his cherry. Yeah, magical. That bad motherfucker, Steve Simone. Oh, Steve Nick Simone. Swanson. Nick Swanson, yeah. Fucked up to the gills with shorts on. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's wearing shorts. I love it. Like, what is he wearing? I'm like, oh, who cares? Whatever he wants. Artie Lang was wearing a free jacket he got from, like, it was like the NFC playoffs. <laughs> from, like, 97? Yeah, that he wore a cone the night before. It was just like, it's just his jacket that he wears around. I was <laughs> like, yeah, whatever, fine, come on, relax. It's fun. It's Good pretty time. fun Good to time. go up there and tell a story sometimes. It's kind of liberating, especially when you've held it in for years. Yeah. You know, I don't want to give the plots to a lot of the stories, like Artie's story. All those stories are fucking great stories that you hold Yeah. You don't know who the fuck you're going to tell. Who are you going to tell? <laughs> yeah. Who are you going to fucking tell craziness like that? I was on the phone with Rogan the other day talking about coke and shit. And I was talking about when I used to put fucking pool cleaner on my dick. What? When I was in the halfway house. I'd Why? snort coke because I'd snort coke Friday and Saturday and I wasn't going to beat the test. So I'm uncircumcised. So I'd take pool cleaner and I'd put it on the inside of my dick and I'd fucking put the skin over it. And then when I go pee, I pull the skin back and the pool cleaner would go into the fucking t piss test and I'd still come back positive. <laughs> like, who do you tell this to that's going to say, Joey, what? You can't tell that to a therapist. They'll dial they'll dial, they'll dial 911 on you, though. <laughs> I remember doing something to my dick one what? time, putting something on my dick. I don't know if it's pool cleaner or like that shit you unclog a drain with. Drano? Drano. Yeah. And I'll never forget, I was working construction, Eddie, and it was hot out. And I went into one of those plastic bathrooms, you know, those things that you piss out, hot porta potty? Yeah. And I took my dick out, and it was just blistered. Like it was one big blister. Like it could bail out. Even, it was pissing out of like three holes. Uh, I swear to God. Did you put Drano on it? <laughs> I put Drano. That's what I would do to pass a fucking urine test. What does it look like now? Huh? Is it back to normal? I don't know. I'll let you sniff it later. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me, cocksucker. <laughs> oh, my God. What's up, Eddie Bravo? Look at you. He's fucking... <laughs> He just throws a giggle and goes right back. What's happening? <laughs> Everything's hanging out. All right. I'm happy you're here. You, so people know that uh, uh, what you guys uh, did. Yeah, that we did El Cid. What the fuck? We're over here waiting. We got to eat another little piece. <laughs> My friends asked me. Taylor asked me. He's like, wait, why do you have to do that? I'm like, I don't know, because Joey said you have to do it. 
I didn't say we had to do it. Oh, I come just, on. Oh, here we go. At least admit that you make people do it. I don't make nobody do it. Then nobody's got a gun to their fucking head. I said, Ari. This is right. We're doing do Sunday it. night. I didn't he do goes, it. nothing. I go, let's do it. Hit a fucking ass. I was like, yeah, okay. And let's I just fuck. said sure. nothing. What the fuck? It's, just, what it's we do. fun, though. You guys feeling it now or what? A little it's bit. Starting to, it took a little while last time. You know. how, 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 I took how it to Billy Joel at Bonnaroo. I don't know. We're going to find out if we have to run the fuck out of here. There might come a point where I can't take it. I just run yeah. the fuck out of here. There was a point yeah. in my living room Monday night, Tuesday night. Yeah, that was I was pretty fucked up. Really? Oh, I was pretty you fucked ready up. ready to call it? Like- no. I've never been able to, never been able to ready to call a tap out. Never. Oh, my never, God. Never, ever, ever. I used to, bro, I used to, when I was about 17, I'd go back to the house where I lived, the Benders. And I'd go to the bathroom, I'd take my shirt off, and I'd be on fire from the acid. There's a point, like the third or the fourth hour, where you're seeing shit, whether you got the lights on or not. You go to pee and your piss is pale. <laughs> Everything is tripping with you. But you're like, I'm coming down off this shit. Nothing's happening. What? That's what happens. And then you walk into the living room and it's dark and you start seeing fucking shadows and you're tripping your ass off. And I would put on like Black Sabbath Volume 4 with earphones in the dark and just sit there, at least I had, for fucking... To both sides, like a oh soldier on eight track. I'm taking it back to the eight track. Anymore. You just had mad visuals, like you were. Insane. Oh my god, fucking crazy! It's just seeing shit. Some nights we'd sit outside and just look into the New York City sky, and like just sit outside, man. Look at that fucking look. And I remember the best night I ever had as a youngster. One of the first times I tripped, we went to the uh, to the soccer field. That's where we used to hang out. It's called Schutzen Park. It's a German banquet area but they have a soccer field and they used to have sheet metal we used to go up there and party i swear to god we brought louis the nigger with us louis hernandez right. was not black nor nor anything he was dominican but he had an afro and we all split a little piece of ass and we started tripping on the party. so all of a sudden what we what we realized was if he let us blow smoke into his afro the smoke would go into his afro for like two minutes, then it would come out slowly. <laughs> and we'd be tripping. We'd be, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look. I swear to God. That's how fucked up we were back then. <laughs> I love Louis Hernandez. He's a, he's a psychiatrist today. What? He really is. In North Bergen, I think, yeah. Have you called him up to talk to him about it? No, I saw him about 15 years ago at a deli, and we spoke for a little while. He's a really good kid. Wow. So, wait. I have a question. Go ahead. We've only done mushrooms like a little bit. Is this the same as mushrooms? Like, do you start, like, the stuff start moving? No, it's different. See, I, I, I grew up on the ass in Jersey. When really? I went out to Colorado was when I started eating shrooms, and I didn't really like it because they gave me diarrhea. All right? <laughs> so I didn't like it. So I never really did anything ever again. And then I ate it one time, then I ate it with you. Yeah. I went to see Pink Floyd, and they were fugazi. We went back to my house and watched yeah, Domino. Yeah. Yeah. No, it got a little heavy in the middle there. Did it get heavy for you in the middle? Yeah. At the pantry. At the pantry, okay. But you're looking a little fucked up right now, you know? You're looking find like my one centered of, place. You're looking, <laughs> like, you're looking like something <laughs> now. Look at you. Sit down. So, Lee, you, you've never done it before? I, I've done it twice now. Okay. All the past week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Damn. It's, fun. it's fun. It's just. We did it two weeks ago when I went to New York. I went to the stand. Right. Yeah, you went to the stand. And some comic came up and was like, man, I love you to death. You want some acid? <laughs> I, go, I go, you got some? He opened up his wallet. He had 100 hits. He had a sheet of Ben Franklin. What? So I said, let me get two of them. He goes, yeah, take one. Give the other one to Lee. That's exactly what I did. <gasps> and then we ate that. And then I went to Toledo. And some other nice gentleman came up. Take these. What were those? And he, these. And he goes, I'm on five of them. <gasps> Oh, my God. He was on fucking five oh of them. Lee. So I ate one of them, and I was like, oh, my God. If he <laughs> ate fucking five of them, that guy's got He's got my tolerance for this shit. Because wow. I could eat five of these back in 82, not now. Yeah. It was weird. Like, because the first time, it didn't really have that much of an effect. It was, like, kind of goofy. But this last time was... Oof. Same stuff. No, no, no. Different, no, no, different stuff. What was the difference? I had a lot more energy. It was weird. Did you want to close your eyes or did you want to? No, open like your eyes? I, saw, I fucking pulled. You know, you know, like the wire they run, uh, coaxial cable when they put in cable. No. Oh. I pulled it out of the wall. What? Because I don't have cable anymore. And it was dangling. And it was bothering me, and I got really amped up for some reason. He started cleaning his apartment. I cleaned wow. my entire apartment the next day. Wow. He played fucking Maple. He made oh what's the name? Ma- 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 Hazel, whatever her fucking name but is. Whoa. I think what's it wrong has... with you, Eddie? Bro, were you deaf mute all of a sudden? What happened? No, I'm enjoying the conversation. Right. I can't believe I'm sitting here with three dudes who are tripping. What? 
<laughs> well, we haven't started yet. It's going to start I know. Soon. It's going to start. But doesn't I'm it... looking forward to it. All three of you. What's that going to be like? I might have to take over the show. I'm here for the remainder. I'm here till 2, 3 a.m. We're going to start okay. taking calls, everything, whatever. <laughs> you take calls, really? We'll take them. What the fuck? If we're tripping. <laughs> they might want to talk to Ari about something. But you told me I was going to be up till like 8 in the morning, so like... You- you know you might be. Oh, I'm probably not gonna make my comedy source, but when tonight? <laughs> yeah. No, you're in no danger. <laughs> might as well call him now and say it ain't happening. Uncle Joey gave me a hit of this fucking death. And, no, but it, like it, it pumps you up, doesn't it? Acid. Well, it's got rat poison in it, so it just fucking lifts your spirits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I rap Is it really rat poison? Yeah, it's strychnine. <laughs> what? Read the label. Read the, the label. label on acid. <laughs> God, I dare you. Read the label. I'll give you a piece right now. I'll give you, I'll give you five dollars. You can find strychnine on there. <laughs> oh my God, it's gonna get ugly in here. You do know that, right? It's gonna get fucking ugly in here. I might have to go outside and get some man. My palms are sweaty and shit. <laughs> palms are sweaty. I'm spaghetti. Oh my <laughs> fucking goodness! The tremendous. We're all here together. When was the first time you guys did acid? <sighs> yeah. When, how old were you, Ari Shafir? Um, I don't know. I, I think, I think with you. <laughs> Pink no, I'm, that's a fucking thing. You know, what? how are you gonna do acid with young? Do you have like a Joe fetish for time? taking young Jewish men to like do? No, no. that might be what it was. No, it wasn't. For acid. When was the first time you? Did that? Never. I, I've done acid what? maybe I don't know twice, but small doses. So I just barely had a little visuals, like the walls would breathe a little bit and shit like that. It wasn't intense at all. But I've done mushrooms before in large quantities and totally had a t- tremendous experience. Where are you going, dog? You gonna, go you gonna Uber it? I know, you brought a car with you. Yeah, but I'll just leave that there. <laughs> I liked it. I, I always liked tripping. I always tripping, I really liked it. Yeah. It didn't scare you the first time? Do you know what was gonna happen? No. I fucking clicked my heels and it happened. No, yeah, I fucking knew. <laughs> I don't know. Did he know what was going to happen? No, I didn't know. I didn't know at that time. But at that time, I didn't really care by that point. Because I was trying to text and all the letters started like floating away. Oh, fuck but yeah. But I knew that could happen, so I was okay. Sure. That's what you're supposed to fucking happen. You're supposed to see shit move. What? That's the whole thing. It's taking you from one place to another. Oh, my God. The only thing that takes you like this, your mind is like this, is like solitary confinement. Like, if I can find you for nine days with just food and no fucking talking, guess where your mind goes? Your mind goes in weird places, man. Your mind goes somewhere it's never been before. It's like fucking acid. That's why I love this shit. Takes you deep into the murky waters of the underworld. You ever listen to music on acid? You can just hear the cymbals playing. Tremendous. This is what they invented this shit for. Like, I was telling you fucking guys the other day, look, if right now Eddie Bravo was to pick up a T-shirt, a rash guard, right now, and I took a picture of you, and we put a million retweets on Instagram with Joe Rogan, you'd sell 10% of that, right? It's a recommendation of a rash guard, correct? Mm-hmm. When I was growing up, the recommendation of acid I had was I heard Led Zeppelin did it. Really? Jimmy Page did it. And I heard, like, other people did it. It wasn't all that bad, right? They're making great fucking music. They're rock stars. If they use this to write, what can we do with it? I swear to God, that was my... That was the reason why I did acid the first time. I didn't do it because other kids were doing it. I thought about it. I knew the reefer and the music was too strong for me. When I first got high and heard music, it took it to a different level. I always enjoyed music. But the music on the reefer is something completely fucking different. So you went from reefer to acid? So, no. We did a couple of little THC crystals, which is like fucking uh, Gorilla Biscuits. It's whatever the fuck you call that shit. Angel Dust. We would do angel dust, like a line to $10 for a package. Three of us would get high. That doesn't make you trip, but it makes you gumbyish. You can't really feel your body. You just feel like you're fucking floating. We would take it and go into New York City as kids, Ari, and walk around. That's a lot of stimulation for your mind. And then the next level was microdot acid. I think the first time I did acid was at a Rolling Stone concert, though. Really? Just like that. And it was oh. in my eyeballs, that shit. When it was real fucking acid. Wait, though, they drifted in your eyeballs? Two hits, one in each eye. What do you mean they drifted in your eyeballs? And a little bit of the sugar cube. Wait, what? Bam! Oh, well, Jesus It's Christ. all over, our Like Shif- Visine, you mean? Like Visine, night, night. Oh. <laughs> what if you get, it's, sometimes when you put Visine, you want to put like two drops, but you put like five. You go you know for I mean? broke. <laughs> I guess one eye's going to see more than the other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh Look at you God. sitting there like fucking taxi driver. I don't know what the fuck you're going to do. <laughs> what are you going to whip out a piece? When was the last time you saw a taxi driver? It's been a while. I had to show the guy for the, my haircut. What's that? I had to show my haircut. He wouldn't do it. Show uh, the last scene of Taxi Driver. See if it's in there. This is the most radical fucking one. He goes bananas. Whatever. Is it. Show oh, that's a the great scene, yeah. Sure. Let's see. Uh, this is on the big thing. Oh, we don't fuck around here on the track. What? Though. I thought you fucked around. No, no, no. Oh, because I've been hearing around that you've been fucking around. No, you want to eat this other piece? No. Let's split it three ways. No. Hey, Bravo, you what do you want me to put no, in? No, no, I'm like good. Last... Uh, the last scene of uh, Taxi Driver when he goes bananas. Final scene, whatever it says in there. The guy starts yelling, I kill you, I kill you, I kill you. Fucking tremendous people. I'm happy you're home. You're not doing dick. It's Columbus Day. Grab some beers. Get a couple bong hits. Ari Chauffeur. Take a chance. And Columbus my main Day. man, Eddie Bravo's here in the house. Lee Syatt. We took some fucking gorilla biscuits. I don't give a fuck. Call the cops. We ain't got nothing here. We got a little bit of reefer. We just Please don't tell them where we are. We're just sitting here minding our own fucking business. Okay, people? If the cops bust in, you would die for this last hit of acid. <laughs> what? If the cops bust in right now, you would die for fuck that last yeah, hit. Fuck yeah, die for that last piece of acid. Like a savage. I took a piece of ecstasy one time and got arrested an hour later. Really? Sure, I got good? fingerprinted. I had my shirt off. <laughs> you should have seen me in the fucking <laughs> fingerprint. <laughs> I was jumping up. Put the fucking thing. Is this it? I don't know. We'll see right now. Oh, this is the scene when he's driving. We got to see the scene when... No, no, right here. Here we go. Here we go. Eddie Bravo, you never saw this. This is what I'm talking about. Look at, look at Ari. <laughs> look at Ari with the lead jacket on and shit. Guys, this is a dis different country when this hey, came out. Hey, boy. How you doing? Okay, okay, my man. How... Where do I know you from, man? I don't know. How's everything in the pimp business? Huh? Do I know you? No. Do I know you? Get out of here. Come on, get lost, huh? Do I know you? Harvey Keitel. How's Iris? You know Iris? Iris. No, you know I don't Iris. know nobody named Iris. Iris, come on, get out of here, man. You don't know anybody by the name of Iris? I don't know nobody named Iris. No? Hey, get back to your fucking tribe before you get hurt, huh, man? Do me a favor. I don't want no trouble, huh? Okay? You got a gun? Get the fuck out of here, man. Get out of here. Suck on this. <laughs> <laughs> this bad motherfucker. That's Ari in Australia. <laughs> This is fucking unbelievable. This is like when I was a kid. This is, I'm 15 or something. This is early 70s. Yeah. He didn't even go, he didn't even move it away. He just standing there. When was the last time you saw this, son? It's been a while. You, Eddie, you never saw this. You know what? I've, s I'm, Leave this. I'm don't touch idiot. nothing, Lee. Hey! Vaya, balapinga. The fucking fingers go off. It's over. <laughs> wow. It looked like he had a is that is he really bald? I don't know. Yeah, this is De Niro. He's he's mad. So he's gonna look like those fake bald wigs. Oh shit! <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I don't know if it's been like this at all. <laughs> no, was, he, he trains. That was like some John Wayne. He trains like with that. that. Before he does, in I his room, he does push ups and he devices a, a thing from a sliding door.
Happy Halloween, motherfuckers. There you go. That's a movie right there. Fuck you and your fucking whatever the guy playing baseball. He's 90. Whatever the fuck on HBO. This is a real fucking movie right here, Jack. Oh, that's right. Then he runs out of bullets. And he's a hero. Oh. He's shot in the neck. He's shot in the arm. He don't give a fuck. He's on fucking Shroom Tech. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He don't give a fuck, Jack. Church. I've actually never seen this movie, man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. See, you're slipping. How it's old hard. is this girl supposed to be? She's who the fuck? It's knows? something like young. It's like She's 15, 16. Uh. It's a tremendous movie. Fucking slow as fuck. If you watch it oh, now, man. oh my so god. Slow than I remember. Freeze. Freeze. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm It sounds like Chinese connection music. Jesus. <laughs> That's got to be a poster, right? This win the month. This one. What did this win? Oh, uh, career. This, this one something, dog. Oh, no. By this time, he had already done Godfather 2. Oh, really? He had already done fucking. Uh, Tax Savers No, what are you turning it off for? How does it end? It's over. What? what? How does it, is this the end? It's That's over. The, no, then he picks her up in a cab. He like wakes the, up as a hero. Like, they thought he was a hero in that yeah. show? Yeah, we got to watch it again. It's so slow, Eddie. You fucking, you'll fall asleep it, eight No, that's turns. a good movie, though. But it's a great movie if you know that it won an Academy Award. He I'm won sure something. It he got nominated. It's hard to watch anything after Narcos. After watching that, like, <laughs> how do you top that? It's a true story. It's pretty damn accurate. Uh, Narcos? It, there's k massive killing. It's true. It's like Game of Thrones, but it's it's actually true. Dog, he fucking Why did he kill that guy in the one you showed me? He took a country hostage. He told me that you do it my way. A country. Yeah. Not fucking the state. Not ten people. Not a gang. A country. Yeah. A country. And he had more money than they ever dreamed of having. Sixty million a daily. More than GM, yeah. What was he losing? Yeah. Did he I hear made, right he that makes, he was he was losing money in mouse money? That he, mice would just eat a certain amount of Well bills? yeah, you should he marry made it in a million. Sixty million dollars a day. Sixty million. That's more than corporations back then. <sighs> Lomo or Blata. What does that mean? <laughs> that speech, look, what does that mean? if you know, either bullets or fucking money, take your choice. What do you want? There's only two ways out of this. Yeah. I know you love your family. I know you want to upheld the law. I know you went to law school and your father's a judge. But here it is. You haven't seen this, Narcos? We just, I just uh, turned them on. Yeah. The oh, just show me dude, something. you're going to be, it's, you can't watch anything else. You go back to Empire, it makes Empire look like those R. Kelly <laughs> in the closet What's videos. What's Empire, and that show? With it's a show about uh, the music. Yeah, the music. like a dude who's like part Jay Z, you know, part bro, Dr. I Dre. Thought that show had a, uh, I thought that show had something. First it's first, good if I there's nothing the else, is, if nothing else is on, I'll watch it. But it's it's like a it's a soap opera with what did it win? Occasionally I, someone gets shot. Uh, Palm d'Or, best BAFTA. I'm looking for. I don't see any. No Oscars. Academy Award nominations. Nothing. Taxi Driver. Have you lost your mind? I know he got something. Or he got I'll look for it. I'm looking for it. It's fucking. Those are crazy fucking movies that they were making. I put yeah, the hand blew up like it was a China doll. What movies? What movies have you seen that you thought were just the greatest movies of all time? But then you haven't seen them in twenty years, and you go back and you see it. And you're like, oh my god, it's a piece of shit. Do you have any of those? Okay, the movie. Any just, of those? I think your attention oh. goes somewhere. I I just tried to watch The French Connection the other night. Yeah, it didn't stand the and test it was of time. Very interesting for a while. Then I was home. Listen, I. If two chicks are banging each other with dildo, I lose interest after 25 minutes. Like said, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I watched the parts that mattered. Like, I taped it, and I watched it while I was taping it on, like, some weird channel. Yeah. And it was interesting to see because I remember that movie. That movie meant a lot to me because I was just learning English. And there's a scene where he's running up the stairs, and he goes, Popeye, don't freeze. And when he shoots him, 
It says filmed in New York, where mm -hmm. it happened. And that, like, I lived in New York City, dog. I wasn't, I was a Cuban. Where it happened. That was the, that was the trailer. Filmed in New York, where it happened. And here I am, I live in New York. Like, my head almost fucking exploded, so I fucking went to see that movie in the movie theater. Okay. And those scenes when he shakes down the fucking bar, when Gene Hackman, those are the movies that made Gene Hackman hit me. It was nominated for Best Picture, but I don't think it won. No, no, no. I, I think Robert De Niro got Best Picture. You're not going to shoot somebody. You know what stands the test of time? And it's hard for comedies to stand the test of time. Think about comedies from the... A comedy movie from the early 80s like is garbage. Yeah. It's all garbage. Yeah, but there's a lot of... All of them. There's a lot yeah. of great ones. No, 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 no. Except for Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which isn't a huh? total comedy, that stands the test of time. Train flies and automobiles is stronger than death. I just watched Blast Young Man with John Candy. John Candy's a fucking genius. Some of those movies, candles, some of them are good. Dog, some of them are the garbage ones. You gotta watch him. You gotta the watch him again. You know, bro, you you know go what back. I got? You know what I got stuck on go last week? Go back and week? check. You know me, yeah. dog. I tell you how it is. You know what I got stuck on last week? And what? I watched it for an hour and giggled. Uh, mm. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I don't give a fuck. Really? Yeah. I was giggling for two minutes. I caught myself going. You know, listen, when, listen. He's so cocky, that motherfucker. He's so cocky. The fucking li the part where the part <laughs> where. I'll, listen, I'll tell you a scene in a movie that I'll put up against anything today and yesteryear. The part where, <laughs> Pee, the part where Pee Wee Herman goes to the Mexican at the bar and he takes his high heels. Put it on. And Whoop. he puts the fucking heels on. All and right. he does we'll the battle scenes. You bring on a scene. We'll battle with scenes. Watch this. All right? What am I putting in? Uh, you're putting in. Uh, we'll let what's, the, what's, what's his movie? What's the movie's name? I got to see. Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Watch this, dog. Pee Wee's Mexican Dance, uh, La Bamba, whatever it is. Tequila, tequila. Press Pee Wee's Big Adventure Tequila. Watch what happens. And put on the big screen, dog. This is classic shit. I don't give a fuck if Pee Wee jerked off on your kid's head. I got one. Really. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. Do you understand me? Yeah, let's see. This is still let's fucking see crazy. Let's see it. Lee, where is it? I know you found it. Lee, come on. You found it already, Lee. Here we go. There we go. This is a biker band. He's look about how, to get look killed. How, look at those guys. Look at them, Doug. Like, what's he look at this white motherfucker busting it. Look at him, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. This ain't dick. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at his little head, dog. Look at his. This is comedy, dog. Watch his head. Watch his little cute head. Look at him. Last time's at Ridgemont High surf scene with Jeff Spicoli. Oh. Did you have you ever seen that movie? Lee? <laughs> Fast Times? I think so, but not well, for a while. Last time that movie was on about a month and a half ago, I was home. It was one of my weeks off, and I was bored to pieces on a Saturday night. And this movie came on. Good I almost had a numbers breakdown. Do you know why? Why? Because it reminded me how old I was when I saw Fast Times and Ridge. That was one of the first movies I saw before I went out in the world. That was a, that movie, a, a, when I first tried to see it, we had to sneak in because I was 12 or 13 and we tried to sneak in. But yeah. we didn't get in on that one. We got busted. Uh -huh. So we didn't see it. So I, I didn't see it till way later. But I saw a home video. <laughs> and I remember, yeah, that baseball dugout scene. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. I was like, whoa. The surf hi. scene. Yeah, the one at the top right there. What is this? Spicoli's Dream? Yeah, this is Spicoli's Dream. <laughs> this is so good. Listen to his shit talk. Watch. He's got great lines. I'd like you to meet this young man. His name? Jeff Spicoli. Jeff, congratulations. What is this? Things look kind of rough out there today. 
Well, I'll tell you, Stu, I did battle with some humongous waves. But, you know, just like I told the guy on ABC, danger is my business. You know, a lot of people expect the baby Mark to be the baby sort of Bob juggles at Gerard to take the honors this year. Oh, those guys are facts. That's fantastic. Let me ask you a question. When you get out there, do you ever fear for your life? Well, Stu, I'll tell you, surfing's not a sport. It's, it's a way of life, no hobby. It's a way of looking at that wave and saying, Hey, bud, let's party. Uh, where'd you get this jacket? I got this in the network. Let me ask you. <laughs> uh, headed over to Australia and the Hawaiian and the Nationals. And me and Nick are going to wing out over to London and jam with the stones. <laughs> you guys are invited to uh, I got this from the network. That, that stands the test of time right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucked up podcast tonight, but this is what you get, people. What'd you expect? Uh, that's that's quality shit oh right my there. God. Quality writing. Where'd you get that jacket? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that jacket? You so <laughs> got it from the network. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's fucking Sean Penn. What do you want to play now? He was so good that I, as a kid, I thought that's the way he really was. Play I thought Jeff Sean Daniel's Penn snowball was... fight scene from Dumb and Dumber. What is it? Jeff Daniel's snowball fight. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, Dumb and Dumber, right? That stands <laughs> the test of time. You got it from Did the you... network. Huh? <laughs> you got it from the network. He said it so cold pan, too. He just stopped him. I got it from the network. Let's <laughs> 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 go to the back to talk like about the real it. Like they're real friends. <laughs> like they're real buddies. <laughs> uh. Anybody want to know the star depth? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's going fast. I need to calm it down. He said. You want to know the star depth? <laughs> It is what it is, people. It is what it is. Nobody says it's going to be perfect. It's Columbus Day weekend, cocksuckers. Strap on your balls, pick up a beer. We're just four guys fucking around on a Sunday night. Right, this, you know part, this part, this part, this part. Uh. Turn this off, please. Oh, He's beating okay. up on the blood now and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you bad oh motherfuckers, God. you. What's happening, Eddie? How you feeling, my brother? I feel great, man. King of <laughs> jiu-jitsu in the fucking room tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ari Shafir, this is not happening. Started with a little brain fart. Look at you now. You're a fucking brand and shit. Yeah. People are telling stories all over the world. This is not fucking happening. Henry Rollins did one, man. He was so good. Did what? Story of my show. Really? Yeah. He did a story. Like, what does he do? He told a story about, about was, I was on a psychedelic episode. Oh, he was on your show. And yeah. He told the story. Oh, cool. How did, how did that go? Great. It was he really told good. A, a psychedelic uh, story. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Is that what the is the show's about? Like you're telling different episodes, drug trips, different episodes, different topics. Oh shit. Okay. That's a good topic. Yeah. Everyone's got good, especially comedians. Got. Yeah, some of them. Well, sometimes, you know, <laughs> sometimes, I know what I was going to tell you guys. That kid that got shot last week in Miami. Well, the I'm air sorry. conditioning in here. I know, Lee, but it's, yeah. It's on high. It's on high as Listen fuck. To me, it's bro. really cold in here, you guys. What? One what? night, we'll, what, we do a hit of acid, <laughs> and we go to this, uh, mate, we used to go to this place in the Fairview. It was in the Fairview Cinema. That's what it's called. And there was two movie theaters. At midnight, they would always play a, a band. Like a song, a movie from a band, like uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, or somebody's concert. Or the song remains the same, 
or the Stone Sticky Fingers, and in the other movie theater, they would play the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, that's terrible. So we all went and did, this is when it was called the Double Barrel Sunshine Acid. And you were supposed to get it and split it four ways. We got it and split it two ways. And we went to see Apocalypse Now. We left there blown up away, but it had just rained, Eddie. So me, this kid that got shot, this other kid, Louis Castellito, we got like a three-quarter of a mile walk home. And we're walking home, and for some reason, Louis Castellito looks at me weird, and he goes, do you hear that? And I play into it. I go, I hear that. Do you hear that? And also, I'm like, oh, my God, I hear that. I hear that, too. And the kid's looking at the both of us like we're fucking crazy, but we're all tripping. And we start going, Jesus Christ, the sirens, what the fuck? And my friend's yelling, the sirens, the sirens, and we're both yelling, the fucking sirens. All of a sudden, my buddy looks at me, and he just takes off, bro, and starts running. What? And like a, a half a block away, there's a, a, what's that when the concrete breaks, a pothole? Yeah. It was filled with rainwater. Oh, no. And then I forgot, he stopped, he got in his hands and knees, and he started oh, hitting himself no. with rainwater. I don't hear the sirens, I don't hear the <laughs> sirens. We were just fucking with him. I, we didn't. We didn't hear no fucking sirens. <laughs> <laughs> fuck? You hear sirens? Not Wait. yet. He kept. He kept saying there were rats in the in the trees by his house. There are rats in the trees. <laughs> you see them and shit when you do acid shit like that. They're big. What's that? The big the squirrels. Yeah, but they sleep at night. I don't see the fucking squirrels at night. You see the rats and the possums in my neighborhood. You see a couple of raccoons. Really? I saw a fucking huge raccoon who got hit by a car in Lower Canyon last week. I had to pull over, but he was fucking dead. And I don't, you don't want those things to bite you. So you just keep fucking driving to mind your business. This <laughs> motherfucker was huge, bro. Really? Yeah, they get big up in those hills. Those motherfuckers will fuck your world up. They we got it. a whole family that come into our backyard all the time. Where do you live? Yeah, in Sherman Oaks. I'm staying at Echo Park, and I saw a skunk on my, on my oh, yeah, porch. Yeah, we get skunks all the time <sighs> in the backyard. We see them because we have a, a big black uh, Are they going to spray you if you just get, come by near them? Or are they, or, or I do think they, they do that warning? when they when they feel threatened. When they feel threatened. Usually when they see you, a skunk will turn around and <laughs> leave on its own pace. <laughs> right. He'll take a couple steps on his own pace. Have you ever seen a skunk turn and spray you? How it's they terrible. Turn? No. It's fucking terrible. It's a terrible situation. When, when they turn. When they turn. So yeah. they get this way and they spray it. And they fucking Yeah, they start. get their, their tail up. Right. It's not good. You know, yeah. I just realized, I always thought that they, they use skunk as a word uh, for weed because it's smelly. I just realized that it actually does smell like skunk. Strong like that, that too. I've had, had weed, you know when you're driving, driving around the neighborhood and you pass like a, a spot where a, a skunk is sprayed? You could smell it through your car. You know what I'm talking about? When you smell skunk, you ever drive through, like a, your, your windows are up. You love it. How, I how love you, that smell. It goes right through yeah. the goddamn car. I fucking love that What smell. the hell? That could probably save the world, right? That's some powerful shit. They got to look, look into skunk piss. Study that shit. They do what? have it. They yeah. have it. They have it at sporting goods. What? You go to a sporting goods oh, yeah. and buy skunk piss because you could do it for something to lure something. Yeah. Or to I, stay away from your campground. Are skunks? Something weird. I bet no, it no, cures just a little, cancer. It's just a little jar. It's a little thing, and you, it has like a swab, and you just dump it. To keep the bears away. I'm not, I'm not correct. I'm not a hunter or nothing like that, brother. I don't fucking know. So you do know this, that you're not walking around looking like Mad Max. What? You're walking around looking like fucking taxi driver. Oh, you yeah. You do know this. That people yeah. are like fucking, what's this shit? I don't know, man. This uh, movie, see, Eddie's, Eddie's younger than I am. Yeah. This movie was fucking strong. This sent a message. 77, I think. Really? Like, this what was sent the message a message? Ma- this was after Berkowitz. What is that? Stand up for yourself. This was after like Berkowitz. Who's Berkowitz? Got the no, 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 no. Got the Not the forty-four caliber killer. The that guy. They got I think the that was a little early. I may be wrong, but this was like weird. Like a guy went in and saved this younger year old girl. People were fucking like people were still mad about the Exorcist, like them using a young girl to put a cross in her pussy. Now they got this chick who had already been on it's television. It's one of the sacred things. What's the young chick that's in this movie? Come on, guys. She's a lesbian. Sounds so lamps. I'm yeah, lo- I'm looking. Hunter, uh, Rachel, something. Uh, no, uh, contact. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Lesbian. Yeah, yes. Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster. Foster. Yeah. Jodie Foster's been on television since she was five. She was on the courtship of Eddie's father, it's Eddie's girlfriend. Really? That show. I remember being a little kid. So when she crossed over a few years later, I was like, oh. What year was the courtship? Go ahead, Jodie Foster. What? what year was the courtship of Eddie's father? How old are you at, in '77? 14. 
I was so I remember going to see this in the movies and I left there a little fucked up. Like I'm not gonna lie to anybody. Like there's a couple movies I left going, wow, that could happen. But that movie I left there going, that's fucking dark because he played it. He be, he was one guy in the beginning. And Six, then it, 69 to 71. Yeah, she was already in TV, bro. She's been on television for 50 years, Jodie Foster. Yeah. 60 fucking nine, my friend. She's been on TV for 45 fucking years. She played what's his name's girlfriend. So she was already visible, you know? So she was like America's little fucking sweetheart. That's a lot of people don't fucking remember. And also they tossed her into this mix with De Niro shooting motherfuckers. After Godfather, now he's playing a crazy cab driver in New York. That's all they need in New York is some guy to be a fucking. How old is she in Taxi Driver? How old is she? Jodie Foster's in Taxi Driver. Jodie Foster, yes, she's the girl. She's the hooker. So she's at least. So she's she's got a no. You have a gun. Why is he asking if he has a gun right before he shoots him? How old? Jodie Foster was born in '62. So she's 53 right now. So when she shot that, she was 14 or 15 or 16. Correct the moon, no, no. Taxi driver was 76 or probably 75, yeah. Yeah, so she was how old? Then? 13. 14. 13, guys. So she was America's sweetheart. So, see, I remember this shit. Oh, he took America's like, sweetheart. Like, he took America's sweetheart and put her as a hooker in a fucking movie. So that's oh, why. what? I knew it wasn't going to uh, win. I knew it wasn't going to win uh, an Academy sure. Award, but he was going to win something for it because he was brilliant. He took America's sweetheart? Like he, a- he, he, remember, like, when. There was that fucking that pervert that fucking idiot told the black chick that ended up marrying the black guitar player my mama said what's her name that, what who what's the black guitar player the, the Jewish fucking black guy Lenny Kravitz Lenny Kravitz married the girl from the Cosby <laughs> show <laughs> whose daughter Lisa is Bonet. in Mad Fucking Max that little black girl in the fucking car uh-huh. That's Lisa Bonet and Lenny Kravitz's fucking daughter in what? the car with oh, them. So that pretty. cute little yeah, yeah, yeah that's of what course, you get when everybody's fucking good yeah. looking at your family. Yeah, when there's that you don't much get people hot. like me and Lee. You when know there's what that saying? much hot. <laughs> yeah. so, not get that. <laughs> when she was on a, she was, it was number one family Thursday night when you were Mexican, white, black in nineteen fucking eighty, you yeah. turned on the Cosby's. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's like somebody said to me the other day, listen, I don't give a fuck who the funniest guy, because we were talking about uh, Dalia. We were at a, a cookout, and somebody with those things where they have the food trucks on Thursday. And the kid goes, something about blah, blah, blah. And the wife was like, I like the lead. And he goes, listen, in my book, I grew up on Martin. And I thought about it. How many people grew up on Martin? 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 What? People watched that sitcom. Martin, I love Martin. Martin was great. Yeah. You, okay. Martin was great. So it, Martin was one of the most underrated yes. comedies. So he, t- this guy's like, fuck the lead and fuck this guy and fuck that guy. In my world, because I grew up on Martin, and that weekend I went away Martin and watched like great. four episodes of Martin. I'm How like, was it? Fucking great! Oh, it good. still holds <laughs> up to the end of time. Fucking Martin! His stand-up is amazing. And Martin his prime, Lawrence is amazing. Prime, he was so he brash. He was so crazy. He was so crazy. Dog, dog. He's so he was a giant X. Put a, put a, <laughs> are you dog. so crazy, uh, listen, Martin Lawrence? Listen, clip. forget that Anything shit. Anything off that? I'm talking warm up. Air conditioning for once. I've been with that. It's on high. Oh. 